One technique that is used to make great transitions is animated text. To create an animated text, first insert a text box with your desired text. Then format the text to the size and look and feel that you want. Next, click on the animate button on the upper right hand side of the screen. Click on the add an effect button and you'll see the myriad of choices you have for special effects on your text below. This is what the sparkle effect looks like. Next, you can adjust different things like the duration, the side that the effect appears from, or the top or the bottom, the order in which it appears if there's multiple events, and the delivery. You can also preview the effect by clicking on the preview button as I just did. Let's check out a couple more different effects. After choosing the animation of your choice, you can continue to modify your text and get it ready for export to iMovie. Here, I am adjusting the background. Adding a gradient. And I'm also going to format the text a little differently. And now I'll preview the animation. And make a few final minor tweaks. Now you can take your transition to another level by adding a couple additional animations that are available to you. The first one that we looked at was called the build-in. The other two are called the action and the build-out. Click on the action tab, click the add and effect button, and you'll see the options available to you. Here I just chose opacity, and you can see also here that you can change your duration as well. After changing our animation to scale, the text now looks like this. And this is what the blink effect looks like. The panel to the right offers different configuration options depending upon the animation that you choose. You can also preview your animation here. Next, let's choose the build out tab and add, click on the Add an Effect button. This time, we'll choose Dissolve. You can see the configuration options off to the right. Here I'll bump up the duration a little bit and preview the animation. Next, I'll change it to Fly Out. By clicking on the Build Order button down below, I can view the animations all together. The Build In, the Action, and the Build Out. The Build In, the Action, and the Build Out. Now that we're happy with our transition, we'll discuss exporting it to iMovie. Now that you're ready to export your transition to iMovie, the best file format is Movie. Click on the file drop-down and choose Export to Movie. 
You'll see a few options here, but the most important one is the one down at the bottom, the resolution. I always go for the highest resolution possible, which is 1080p. Choose that and hit next, and you'll be prompted by your file menu, at which time you can name your movie and save it. You can see the newly created movie at the top of the list here. Let's double click on it to view it. Now let's bring the transition into iMovie to see how it looks. You can simply drag and drop it in. And now let's bring it to the beginning and play it to see how it looks. By using green backgrounds in Keynote, you are able to create text and images with transparent backgrounds for your iMovies. I will demonstrate here by creating a transparent image on top of the transition we created earlier in the video. First, I will paste an image that I just copied to my clipboard. Next, I'll add animation for both the build-in, the action, and the build-out. The final step is to format the background with the color green. I usually choose a color in this range. Now save the Keynote document as a movie so it can be used with iMovie. Before we import the clip we just created into iMovie, let's take a look at it first. Now we can import that clip into iMovie and create the image with the transparent background. The key is to configure it to have a green background, which I will show you here in the, upper, in the middle left hand corner. Here I will set the green background. Now when I play this clip, the image will have a transparent background.
It's not the best production, but it gives you a solid idea of how this should work. Thank you very much for watching this video.